All right, guys, real quick video today. We're just gonna be converting the wheel bolts on the Alpha behind me to wheel studs, because if you've ever tried to put wheels on or off a car when it's just got bolts, it's very annoying. You've got to get them perfectly lined up and balance everything and put the bolts in. It's not the end of the world, don't get me wrong, but for how easy and cheap it is to fix, I'd rather just have studs. I did this on the Supra, so you might have seen that video. Um, if you've seen that, probably no point watching this because it's gonna be the same process, but I just figured I may as well document every little thing that I do to this Alpha because there's so little content on these on YouTube compared to most cars. So yeah, hopefully this might just help someone else out or give them ideas for stuff to do. So yeah, let's get cracking. So to start with, let's take a look at what we've got. We have got, we all noticed that was a terrible idea, wasn't it? Why have I done that? Whatever, in for a penny. So yeah, these are M14 by 1.5, I believe. If I've remembered that wrong, I'll uh, flash up on screen what they actually are, but pretty sure it was M14 by 1.5. And these are the 75 millimeter version. When you buy these studs, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to the ones I bought, but when you buy studs like this, uh, they generally come in like 75 mil, 82 mil, or 91 mil, or something like that. And it's basically just how much um, distance is gonna be between the hub face here and your way wherever your wheel starts. So it pretty much just depends on how many spaces you're running. Um, I'm not running any spaces at the moment. I might do in future, um, but on the Supra, when I used the longer ones, because I did have spaces, they were really long. And they were only like the 82 mil version, I think. And uh, they, they stuck out quite a bit. So I've just gone for the shortest ones on this and uh, we should be okay. And the install is real simple as well. All you need is some thread locker to put on this end when you screw into the hub, um, Allen key for the end, and a torque wrench because we're going to be doing 40 newton meters so 40 40 when you tighten this into the hub and then 130 when you put the the nut onto this um, yeah, i'm sure you could get away with doing 120 like i do on most wheels on most cars but the um the website for these does specifically say 130 when you're tightening these nuts up so we'll do that first things first take the uh, original wheel nuts or wheel bolts off get the old locking wheel I think that's one nice thing as well. Once we've done this, we won't need the locking wheel nut. Now we can get all these off. And you can already start to see the problem that I have with not having wheel studs. As soon as I undo this bolt, the wheel's just gonna try and fall off because there's nothing holding it on at all. So you've got to kind of balance pressing the wheel on and taking the nut out. And then putting the nut down and then grabbing the wheel in a way that it doesn't hit stuff, which it did a little bit there. It's just, it's just more awkward than it needs to be. Again, it's not the end of the world, it's not the hardest thing ever, but it's just, why? It's so much easier than studs. So this is where we find out if I bought the right size. It looks like I did. So it is M14 by 1.5. I'm gonna just stick a couple on, and then we'll put the wheel back on. Let's put four on, let's go crazy. Treat ourselves. I'm somewhere roughly lined up. And then now it's just balanced on there. Like, so much easier to, to put on. Yeah, that's gonna be grand. There's loads of thread on there. If anything, you could go shorter, but I'm definitely glad I didn't get the longer ones because that, that sticks out just kind of nicely there. You can just leave the wheel there, even without that nut on. We take that nut off, you can just leave that there. You don't have to be balancing it and like, even without any nuts on, it just stays there. So, so much nicer to work with. Realize this camera is quite far away. I don't know how much you can actually see. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Definitely didn't want any longer ones. So we will take these off, clean everything with a bit of degreaser, put some thread locker on it, and then do them up to 40 newton meters. So this is why you have to do the studs up because as I've gone to undo the, um, the nut, it's brought the stud out with it. So that's why these need thread locker and they need 40 newton meters of torque to start with. Again, look, even with only three of them in, we can just leave it hanging there. Isn't that great? The wonders of modern technology, AKA a bit of threaded bar. What's the advantage? Like, is there an advantage of wheel bolts? Someone tell me. Is there any reason that you'd ever want wheel bolts instead of wheel studs? I don't really think of any. Right, I've been spraying these, just the ends that I'm gonna thread lock with a little bit of um, degreaser stuff. You don't have to do this, I'm sure, but I'd rather just be uh, certain that the thread lock is gonna work properly, because obviously it's a bit of a bad time if these come out while you're driving. And then, yeah, I'm just using some just general medium strength blue thread locker. Um, Cause like I say, I did use the, the red stuff last time and literally couldn't undo them. So give them a little dab of the old thread locker. Oh, that was quite a lot. Okay. This one's, this one's definitely not gonna come out. And it's on the floor. Good, 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 good. That's what I wanted. We probably also just wanna clean these uh, holes out a bit. All right, so he's very lubed up with the old thread locker. 
plonk him in. There we go. Come on, come on. Why, why have they always got to play hard to get on the way out, you know? There we go. And then obviously we're just going to repeat that for all the others. I'm not going to film all of these, don't worry. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. Do you want a close-up of some thread locker action? Oh yeah. It's very liquidy, this thread locker. The other stuff I've used is a little bit thicker than this. Does thread locker go off? <laughs> I bought this like three years ago. But uh, whatever, that'll probably do. She got, she got some on there. Cool, last one. Cool, so we'll go do all the rest and uh, yeah, come back at the end. Well, let's get this lad back on. Nice and easy. Done. So yeah, we're all done. Not a lot else to say really. Oh, the only other thing I wanted to cover was if you've got um, like 10 millimeter spacers, you'll probably get away with these 75 mil studs, the same as I've got, because you can see there's a fair bit of thread left in there, like another 10 mil. Um, but any more than 10 mil spacers, you'd need the longer studs. So something to bear in mind. I probably am going to get some spacers with this at some point, because it does kind of sit a bit, a bit sad. But um, I'll probably only go like 10 mil anyway. So should just about get away with that on those studs. But yeah, that's it. Like I say, not a uh, particularly long or interesting video, but just thought it's worth documenting in case it helps anyone else out. Um, I am still working on the burnout video. I'm still waiting for it to rain. It did. It rained briefly yesterday, as you can see from some of the dirt. It rained briefly while I was on the motorway, but other than that, um, yeah, need to rain properly so I can finish filming the uh, the skids video. But yeah, that should be coming soon.